What's up guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys Cyanogen Mod 9, uh, the latest nightly for the Aces Transformer Prime. Uh, now this thing is totally quick and fast and responsive. We're going to run through some of the features. One of the main features in this build is the theme chooser, uh, which is pretty cool, so we'll jump right into this. And we'll go into settings, and I'll show you a cool feature. Face lock has been added, or face unlock, I should say. Uh, so the way that we get there is we're going to go to security. And we'll go to lock screen. And where are we at here? Screen lock. We're going to go to face unlock. So we're about to set it. Uh, so to set it up, we'll just set it up. Continue. It's not doing anything. Oh my gosh. We'll cancel. We'll try that again. So we'll go to face unlock and set it up and continue. Golly, it took forever. Okay, so it finally got it. Then you'll need to set a pattern. So we'll go ahead and do that. Set our pattern. Now, we are finished, so now we should be able to unlock the device. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Let's see how long it takes. And there you go. Try that again. Wouldn't let me do it with my hat on for some reason. Anyhow, it works, and it works pretty quickly, so that, that's cool. Uh, of course, they all say that you can put a picture up to it, and that really is true because I've tested the theory. Somebody with an iPhone came up to me, took my picture, and unlocked my Galaxy Nexus after I had spent like 20 minutes talking about how awesome it was and how much the iPhone sucked. And uh, he really, he really uh, showed me on that one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the settings. We'll go to Launcher. And this is just a Trey Boucher launcher, so there's a few settings that you can do here. You can remove the search bar, which is what I like to do. I'll select resize any widgets, and you can change the transition effect here if you like. It's a tablet, so I keep it in tablet mode. Uh, we'll go back to settings. And if you go to themes, this is like the biggest change here in Cyanogen Mod 9. We now have theme changer. I was using the Ma 5 Kang theme. Come stock with this ICS normal theme here. And you can do things like, uh, we'll do this holo green. It's going to change everything, including like the framework, all the settings and stuff. This is all, you see like the overscroll there is all green. Everything is now greenified. If we open up our toggles, they're all going to be greened out. So that's pretty cool. And we'll go with like the, I think this is red. No, it's green ICS. We'll go with the red real quick. Of course, you can download these themes from the Play Store. If we go into System, you can change the combined bar. You can show the clock or you can take the clock out of it. And you can change the battery style. So you can go to Icon Only or Hidden. Or percentage is what I like. You can change the AM and PM if you like there. And if we go back to system, we can change our lock screen. So we can add shortcuts to our lock screen. We just add an application here. And we'll go with uh, Twitter. And just click, let's see. I guess you don't have to, yeah, you got to save it up in the top corner there. Okay, so that's been saved. Of course, I have face unlock set, so that's not going to really affect me. And then you change your font size and your wallpaper from there as well. If we go into performance, we can go into our processor and we can set our uh, maximum CPU. It comes overclocked at 1600 megahertz. Uh, if you wanted to go down some, you could and you would save some battery life. Of course, you also have your... Uh, CPU governor. I just kind of like to keep it stock here, but you can go for performance and that'll make your Transport Prime really fly. It's going to kill your battery life as well. Um, see, I'm using 1300 megahertz just surfing through the settings. So that's, you know, that's performance for you. Uh, so we'll go back and set that back to interactive. And that 
brought me down to 475 megahertz. Why do I need to be running 1300 megahertz while I'm just scrolling through settings? That's what I'm talking about. It'll kill your battery to go in that performance mode. If you want to like play a 3D game or something, performance mode is great because it's going to keep your CPU at the max speed all the time. Uh, other than that, there's really no need for it. So we'll leave you with the boot animation. So we will reboot. I would show you guys how to install this, but it's simple. All you have to do is download the ROM from the link in the description, boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Davit cache, install the ROM, and then be sure to install gapps. If you don't, you're not going to have your Play Store or anything like that, no Gmail. Yada yada. If you don't have your Play Store, you can't get any of your Google apps. Uh, so be sure you, that you do install the latest G apps. As of this video, it's April 29th. So we'll go ahead and reboot our Transformer Prime, and you guys can see the signage of Mod 9. Awesome, awesome boot animation. Guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Um, also, be sure to like this video. It helps in such a big way. All you got to do is click on the little like button down there. Give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel right there for more videos like this in the future, as well as tech vlogs and product reviews and things of that nature. Be sure to share me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. It helps this channel to grow, and I appreciate it much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.